Welcome to SS Easy Education. Make sure you subscribe and also click the bell icon so you won't miss any awesome videos like this video. Hello everyone, it's me Sanka and welcome back to our channel which is SS Easy Education. So today I'm going to show you and I'm going to read to you a complete English for today chapter that means 10, 11 and 12. Three chapters. So let's start. Ten. The remedies, model, and tradition. Look. Look at the following pictures. Discuss with your pair partner what they are. Match them with their names given in the box. So I think this is an savlon, which is. Look, this is a savlon, which is here, savlon, and then this is the turmeric, like the turmeric, and the turmeric is here, look, and I think, which one is aloe vera? Is aloe vera this one or this one? For black and white, I can see that well. Uh, but first, let's just see which one is honey. I think this one is honey. Next, which one is antacid? Oh, it's this one. Now let's see which one is covered basil or tulsi. Which one is um, I think it's this one. Or is this new? Okay, I will just go with this with the new. And maybe this one is the holly basil too. See? Now the pearl. question is which is the paracetamol and which is the aloe vera? This one and this one. I think this is aloe vera. Oh yes, this is the aloe vera. There are some spiky spiky type of things in the aloe vera and which is in here in this picture. And this one is the means this one is the parasite. So now let's go to the next page. Read the following text. People around the world are slowly changing their attitudes toward men. More and more they're turning to natural courses. Natural courses are made of more natural things, often herbs and plates. The story says that natural or herbal medicine, re herbal remedies are nothing new. People use them along, all along in the different ages. Herbal medicines were used in ancient civilization like India, China, Greece, Egypt, and Rome. Some ancient treatment systems are still in practice today. They have come down through generations. So that's the first part. For a minor burn injury, the doctor may, pres may prescribe you a tube of ointment. But for the same, your grandma may put some aloe vera or use cold water. If children have cold in our country, grandmas give them honey and tulsi leaves to eat. And it works too. Yes, when I become sick, not my, not just my granny, sometimes my dad and my mom also give me to eat honey and tulsi because they are really, they are really, they actually work. They are more working, workable than the, the than the artificial medicine because when I eat or, or use artificial medicine, I take at least one week to, week to um, recover. But when I eat this type of medicine that is honey and tulsi, then I just recover in two to three days or even four to five days. So two days are saved for my sickness. So uh, if you have a mineral cut or one grow, grown up, may put some grown ups may put some turmeric, marigold or aloe vera on it. Yes. Sometimes I my mom gives aloe vera to my cuts like they just give it two days ago I cut it in here. I don't even see clearly but I have a cut I had a cut it here 
and that recovered after I my mom gave me that. So that's really workable. Rural people use usually use garlic, neem or turmeric to cure skin problems. With experience, they have seen that these remedies work. Moreover, they are easy to get and are cheap. Most of them are without any size. Yes, that's really effective. Without any size of it. That's really good. Find out the items for natural curses and chemicals. Write the names of natural curse in column A. In the column B, write the items that are chemicals. Answer the question. What are natural curse? Curses made. Natural curses made of natural things. What are herbal curses modern so, herbal curses or yes, herbal curses. I don't think herbal curses are modern indications because in the writing that had written the ancient cultures that in Greece, China, India, Egypt, and Rome also used them in the ancient time until now. So, that's not modern indications. Which civilization are known for how the I already said that India, China, Greece, Egypt and Rome. What natural remedies are used for cold? Can you add more natural chicken for cold? There they give uh, honey and tulsi for me. And uh, I think if we bath in hot water and and give our heads some food. Uh, bath in hot water for our body and uh, cold water for our head or hair, then sometimes the colds don't stay for a few days. They just leave after a few hours or sometimes one or two days. What cures, what herbal pills for skin There are turmeric, aloe vera, and many things else. Why? Well, I cannot just say every of them. Because there are many. So, marking first, complete the following expressions with words from the box. Bottle box scan package two. A dash for your equipment, a tube for equipment, a dash for a student, a dash for bandage, a dash for food spray, a dash of tissue, a bottle of food spray, a box of a package of bandages and a can of aspirin. So read the dialogue and practice in here. Permanent. Good morning. Can I help you? Do you have anything for dry skin? Hmm. Well, we might try this. The bottle lotion is good. Or you can just try this brand of olive oil. Olive oil is also good for dry skin. Here's your arm. Well, I think I'll take the lotion. How much is it? Working. So, number D, working pairs. Read the following situations and then make a short conversation of each situation using can, could, may, should, etc. where necessary. Who want your tea to swap? Ask for good pay. Your partner will suggest the opportunity. Offer one. So I don't have a partner right now, so I think I'll give you a homework. You will do this in your home with your partner, your brothers and sisters, or you can also do it with your parents. So don't forget to do it and write in the comments that you have done it, okay? So number E is people with a cold, a fever, or the flu often go to the doctor for help. But many people is are probably all also use home remedies for common illness. Read about some simple home remedies and answer the following questions. The following questions are new experts. I don't think they needed to write the following question. The question in the next page. Cup. Cold. This cup comes two days in headache. So these also need a partner, so I think you will also be able to do it. Right guys? So learn this one. Ninja, resistance, love, love, 
garlic, pepper, cinnamon, sensitive, munch, pinch. So munch and pinch means a bite, a type of biting. Two types of bite. And sensitive, I know, I think you already know what sensitive is. Cinnamon means in Bangla we call it daruchini. So I think you know what cinnamon means now. Pepper means in British English. Pepper means capsicum. We call pepper capsicum. And Australian people also call this capsicum. They don't call it pepper. And American people call that bell pepper. But we call that capsicum, which is really common in Bangladesh. I think they also serve capsicum in India. Things I already heard it. Do you know of any other home remedies that people use in our country? Ask your parents, relatives, and make a list of such remedies other than the items given in your choice. Some other things? I think I know what to do for this. This will be your homework, guys. You will have to ask your family members for what they used except for turmeric or like this type of things and you need to write down in the comment section below so now we're in our next lesson which is are you listening listen and read to and read the following words so look there are the following words and we need to listen and read so you need to listen to me and you need to read and I will also read but I cannot for now. So shed. One shed means a bit of a thing, uh, a sitting place or there are also some house shed in the house to keep tools and that type of things. And another shade that means uh, what was that means a type, it's a shadow. If that's a shadow of a tree. Shadow of the tree means shade. And shadow means I think. So pepper. I think I already told that what does pepper mean? In Bangladesh and also in Australia. And paper. Paper means this type of paper. Test. This test means exam. And taste. This taste means uh, Tasting things. Wet. This wet means that you are full of water or you are wet, you are not dry. And wait. This means wait, I will come. Wait, wait. That means you should stand for someone or something. Just wait. And pen. I think we already know what this pen, which is writing pen. And pain. Do you know what this pain means? I think you know. It means heart hurts. It hurts or you can say it pains. Man. Man. I think we all know what this man means. It sometimes specially means boys or big boys that means man. Or sometimes by not saying women and men, they just say man for everyone, woman and man. Or they also say to man. So another one is main. Main is a horse. So, do you notice any difference between the vowel sounds in the words on the left corner and vowel sounds on, in the words on the right? Listen to and repeat the sound in section A again. Mm. I think you all know the difference between them and their meaning and their pronunciation. So, I think I'm not need to pronounce them okay so now then listen and repeat the sentence pronouncing and underline the words the words properly using vowel sounds you just practice in section A. So number A is I met Benu and her roommate in the bookstore they were buying some papers and pens I remember her friend's face but I can't remember her name Later, I met them again the same day at the bus station. They are waiting for some friends to come. That's a nice story. Practice saying the following word. West. West. We know one west means 
in Bangladesh, Bangla, we call it Poshchim. That's the west, you are on the west side of me. That's the east, and that's the north, and that's the south of our house, of this room. So, and waste. One waste means just wasting things, don't waste that, don't waste that. I think we've already been, we always heard things from our parents like this. Don't waste that thing, don't waste food. If you waste food, then the food will give you some punishment or you will not, you will not get any TV for the day or any other things for the day. Like, one like means left. I think if you have seen Frozen song of Elsa, I think you already know what just left means. Let it go, let it go. Let means just let. Let in or that type of things. And late means you are late. Not on time. Debt. Debt means anything like and that's a bit like doubting. And doubting means in Bangladesh, Shandeho and date. I think we already know what date means. Date means what date is today? It's Today it's 8-6-2021. So, then it's get. Get out or get in or that type of thing. Another one is gate, which is that type of gates over there. We also call them door. But door is used in this type of thing. And gate is used in a type of bar gate or house. A door is a room of the door. And the gate is usually used for the full house's main gate. Then tell. I need to tell you something. Yes. And then tail, which is I have a tail. <laughs> monkey has a tail. And Shuffle is a kind of monkey. Do you know Shuffle? Who teaches you Arabic? He's a kind of monkey. <laughs> he always laughs and jumps around the house, especially in this room. So, a4 read the following sentences, add P to the underlined word in, in sentences to make new words. Now fill in the blank with sentences with the new word. What is that for? Can you please buy me a new car? I hate to ask you, but can you buy me a hat too? A lost book at canteen where I ate lunch yesterday. Sam is my friend. We are having lunch at the same canteen. He was mad at me because I made him go back and look for my thing later. Wow. And now we are in the last lesson for the day, which is lesson number 12, Son of the Soil. Working pairs, groups, and discuss the following question. What do you see in picture? I see a building in a grave. Do you know what whose grave is this? This is the grave of the son of our soul, the father of our nation, Banga Bandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Where are they located? They're located in they're located in Dhaka. How about the pictures related to Banga Bandhu? Of course they're to Bang related to Banga Bandhu. There, this picture, this house is the house of Banga Bandhu, and this is the grave of Banga Bandhu. Of course they're related to Banga Bandhu. It's this book back. Actually, I'm mad because I'm so lovely. I'm so sad that I don't want to meet him. Anyway, read the tip. Tingipara, a small green village beside the river Bodoma. Under the Bobong village district, in the olden days, the villagers used to wake up in the chirping of birds. Many years ago, it was not the same of Tungipara, now full of the sound motor vehicles, passing motor waves. People used to move from one place to another by boat. The green nature particles, the open sky and glassy water of rivers, the shade of the trees and blowing wind they flood the villagers from loving with friendly people. A baby was born there with a prosperous Sheikh family on 17 March 1920. Do you know who this baby was? 
is not a beggar man, but that our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. His father was Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and mother Saya Khatun. Many years ago, the, at the time of his birth, who could understand what potential the boy had? Who could realize that this small boy would be the father of the nation one day? Tungibara Sheikh family were very well known in that area. Even there were songs and lyrics composed by the local bird narrated their calm and glory. A religious man named Sheikh Burhanuddin founded this family many years ago at the ruins of the old buildings of the Sheikhs stand out their symbol of their wealth during Mughal era. Greek buildings were not very common then. Over the time, the next generation could not maintain that status. New teen shaped houses were placed with old brick ones. Mujib Chahjus was painted in one of those houses and he says his autobiography. It's difficult to say how long Sheikh Buranabi came to Tunyabara more than two years ago. However, history points to Sheikh Zlatullah and Sheikh Ikramullah brothers and his heirs. They were landlords and that area besides their own business and socially in poorer field. They had so much wealth that once and were social and Kudratullah told one of the British people, I don't count my heirs. I just weigh my wealth. Bangabandhu and his relatives are distant of these two brothers. Mujib Mujib called the spirit of tradition of these gold people. Mujib spent his childhood in Tungipara and all of the on all of the local roads around his playground. Wow. He had cravings for diving in the river and getting into the rainwater. He ran fields after fields for searching birds nests. He was amused by the kingfishers and weaver birds. The sweet melody of the doves charmed him a lot. This is why hanging out with bo other boys surrounded by the nature was his passion. The pet lover Muji was also had pet monkeys, dogs, and his son type of manas. He used to train the birds to sing and other kids to follow his instructions. Good. He always took good care of them in his childhood. He was a lean, thin boy, everyone especially. His grandma was worried about his health. She kept some milk, butter, and other homemade items, milk items, ready to improve dad's health. Mujib always prefer simple food like plain rice, fish curry, and vegetables. But he had vaccination for a lot. Fascination for rice with milk and banana at the end of the meal. Mujib had two elder sisters, two younger sisters, along with a younger brother. His other sisters were very talented. Everyone adored him a lot. He was me. He was nearby to the villagers and Kopad to his senior family members. Mujib has natural bent of mind to meet with everyone. Adapted from Akshamak to Atpujibani, the other biography of Bangabandhu Shukujibur. So, there are some exercises. I think after reading this book, you will be able to do this. So, the first one is that we have a word meaning. So, the word meaning is your homework, okay? And number C and D is your homework. Number E is write the answer following the question. How was the nature of Bangabandhu during the child? It was very natural. I wish I could live at that time. I really wished. What qualities did Bangabandhu have, have get from his forefather? He get really good qualities. What made Bangabandhu's guardians worry about him? About his figure, he was so thin little boy. Work in pair and ask the answer of the following question. How is your village town similar or dissimilar to Junipur? Uh, my village is pretty similar. My village is very similar. My, my paternal grandma's grandpa's house in Tsao and my maternal grandma's house in the village. 
So my town is not very similar. This is the Petalhar. Homes village is not very similar to Tinky Park. It's really dissimilar, but maternal grandma's house is very similar. What do you know about your grandparents? Do you know my grandfather? My paternal grandfather was a trainer of the army of the Mukti Bahin and my maternal grandfather was in the ga ga in the guerrilla group of Intel of the action group. So there was my grandfather, my paternal grandfather and my maternal grandfather. Both of them were fighters. What are your favorite foods? Foods. I I think I already told you my favorite food is lasagna. Do you see any similarities between Bongo Bongo Shari food and in and yours? In what ways? I don't see any similarities because in my childhood, I grew up in Dhaka, and I'm also growing up in Dhaka now. I just sometimes go to my paternal and maternal grandparents' house, and I mostly live in Dhaka, so I don't have any similarities with him. Work in pairs, there are two sets of pairs. One is satisfied. You want to satisfy your friend. Make the cues first in your set. Tell your friend about them. So my name is Bartlett's forefathers, hobbies and foods. My name is Anika and my birthplace is in Ratshaki. My forefathers is the forefathers name is Cairo and also another and my four and four mother's name is Savera. My hobby is dancing and also I can sing, I can paint, I can do many things. So I think and my favorite food is lasagna. How many times will I have to tell them that my favorite food is lasagna? Ha! Huh. Write a short paragraph in telling what aspect of Bangabundu channel have you liked the most and why. I love the Bangabundu childhood place there were so many trees and so many other things as in the test i loved that so much i really want to live in that place and i th think i already have lived that like place in my maternal grandparents house there are some ponds we swim in them and do many other things next page is lesson 13 which but we have promised to read until lesson 12 now guys, today's the end of today's video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also turn on the bell to miss any awesome videos like this video. And also don't forget to share. So please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also turn on the bell. Thanks guys. Bye. Allah peace everyone. Meet you soon inshallah. Allah peace.